Alright, welcome guys. I'm going to try and keep this one fairly quick. Um, I've failed it twice to keep it under the 10 minutes of YouTube's limit. So we're going to race into this. Uh, we're making this box thing here, which will have a couple of tubes coming off it eventually. We'll model the tubes and that when we get the detailing. Um, let's create a cube first up. And we use a cylinder for the top. We need to get our sizes right. In order to get the size for this, we'll go to our foot, which I'll rename. And we need the size across here. Which has given us 72. So our cube needs to be 72 across the x axis. Um, the height, we want it to come to the top of here. And we know our total overall height for this was 400. We've got a ledge here of what looks to be about 30. Um, so just over the top of that, y height at 400. So I'll bring that in. Um, again, we're not being too exact. Um, this detail is fairly minor. And we want its width to be a bit smaller than this. So I'm going to do a, something a little bit different on it, but you can uh, make your mind up as to what you want to do when you've seen my result. Um, on the model it looks like two straight tubes come down and then I presume they go back in and then there'll be a couple of little circles like that coming out. I'm actually going to extrude a cube face forward and have the tubes coming out of that. Um, so this will look much more like a little pump system, hopefully. Um, so we want to align that roughly to the back of our foot there. Um, that's fairly close. And we'll make that editable. Actually we'll undo that. I wanted some height segments in that. And the Y size at 6 for my extrude down the bottom. Um, let's have a grab. Put that editable and polygon mode. Grab those two faces there and extrude those forward. Um, 25. Um, combined with the 275 of the length, we're going to be the 300. Should line up that corner there. And we'll put a curved dome on top that also comes at 300, so that should line up with the couple of tubes in between. Um, let's create a cylinder for the top. this on the x-axis I think it is. No, it's the z-axis. Can we keep track of that? Um, height we want set at 300 and the radius probably about um, 45. Let's drag that over and see how we did. It's going to sit here on top of our cube. Um, should line up with the back of that. That's fairly close. Um, we can come back and tidy all this up later when I've got more time. Just gonna have to squeeze all this in. I uh, want to delete the bottom polygons of our cylinder, so make it editable. I've done this plenty. Camera view front and rectangle select. We want to get rid of all that there, and we want to center it on our cube means we're going to do grab the move object tool and just drag it on till it's centered that looks good to me and there's a hole in the bottom we're going to close so structure um whoops select that structure create polygon uh which means we'll turn that off and that off so we can see what we're doing just jump around and I'm going to close off this hole here i'll pause it just to save some time so there we go, I've closed that little hole at the bottom, you should be able to do that by now. Um, if you can't, I'd suggest you check out the earlier tutorials. And we're going to get a couple of cubes to extrude down. I want to change their size, fairly small. I'm guessing 15 by 15 by 15 will do. And we'll take a 
auto X's on so we can see where they are. There he is, drag him across to here and up to here. And spin him around, we're just going to mount under the front of this cylinder here. Like that, uh, we're going to make him editable. And we're just going to extrude him down. Um, extrude down a bit. Um, extrude in and make him, I think there's a wider bit there. And extrude down. And I presume it gets narrower again. And as you can see, it's just a matter of making up what you want to do. And there we have one of those. Uh, what we're going to do is copy this and duplicate it. And drag that across. Undo, drag the whole object across. So that it fits nicely there if we have a render. There we go, we've created an interesting sort of pump thing and that'll have the pipes out the front. Um, next tutorial we'll get to mounting it and tidying up all these loose things I've named, but I wanted to make sure I got all this in and done in one tutorial for you.